All right, getting towards the end of winter and there's one more important seasonal job to be done and that's the spraying of your uh, stone fruit. In particular, peach, uh, nectarine, but also apricots and um, plums. You know, those soft fruit with stones in them, cherries as well. Apricots and nectarines have to be sprayed, especially in our climate, otherwise they get a, a leaf curl. Um, they need to be sprayed with copper. Now, when do you know when to, to spray these nectarines and peaches have a, a crucial time? You see this one here is now peeking through and there's some colour peeping out. That's the um, pink bud. It's just, it's split, the bud is just starting to split and it's revealing uh, some petals. So then once you get that, you have to spray at that point because as it opens up, that's when the bacteria and, and the thing that causes a leaf curl starts to get into your plant. So what we're doing here is spraying it, spraying it with a copper spray. And if you don't do it, then you'll get leaf curl um, later on in the year. And once you get leaf curl, it's very difficult uh, to treat at that moment. So this is the moment to treat your leaf curl. Here's a closer look at some of those um, buds. You can see they're all uh, swollen and there's one here is swollen so much that it's started to burst and the petals are starting to come through. So this is a uh, peach tree and it's ready to spray. So we're doing a mixture here today of uh, white oil and liquid copper. Uh, liquid copper is a fungicide it says it right there it helps to uh, I'm spraying it particularly for leaf curl in nectarines and peaches we get it quite badly here um, it also does a whole set of other sort of fungusy based bacteria based stuff here this is white oil it's an insecticide so this one is killing off insects little mites and scale and mealy bugs and aphids etc get uh, suffocated by a, a coating of petroleum oil that's why i've put them both in here only some of the trees have leaf coil only some of the things have these bugs but i've mixed them both into one big spray and i'm just going to do all my fruit trees it's just easier that way cover up always wear gloves and a hat and a uh, long sleeve and long pants and closed shoes uh, when be, these are very harmless sprays but still as a general rule whenever I'm spraying anything cover yourself up because all right and that's a spray obviously you need something to spray with the spraying itself is pretty simple just one thing you're trying to do is make sure that you cover everything especially with these that winter oil spray make sure it's all dripping everywhere and you're covered underneath spray underneath around everywhere but uh, yep just coverage now that's all you need to do